so welcome back traders this is video two uh, just extending from our training video on the 24th of the third where I'll continue answering questions from some of our members so let's go back to uh, the chart here so remember the target I showed you before on the spreadsheet of how to turn five thousand dollars into basically a million dollars in 34 weeks risking no more than 1.75 percent per trade and earning only two hundred dollars a day per contract how do we do that well say on the ES you only need to be achieving three six tick net trades a day to get there so after brokerage and let's just round it up to five dollars each three six tick trades a day uh, on the ES is two hundred and ten dollars net after you could pay your commissions 210 net so where are we most likely to achieve our six tick trades of course trades are first trades in a new trend or well, the highest probability now how we know and how we keep and how we know what the highest probability trades are by keeping statistics so if we go and look at this here we've got very clearly a t20 right there you got a t21 and a new trend both of those romp six ticks in you've got an 89 bounce the first 89 bounce in a new trend you've romped your six ticks in here you've got um, uh, very clearly here you've got a t1 against the 89 you've got another six ticks now for those that just like scalping like I do four five tick trades a day are going to achieve you after commissions 230 per contract or if you're a real quick scalper five four tick trades a day will net you 225 per contract you trade of course that's on the ES which is $12.50 per tick uh, it's going to vary on the um, uh, the NQ of course which is five dollars a tick etc but what I want to show you there is to break it down for how many trades a day net do you need to achieve so getting back to some of Robin's questions uh, now Robin what I like to do here is um, with the 89 B's I want to see of course a close under the 8 EMA now here you would have been stopped on this particular trade now when I trade the ES traders and the NQ I like to place uh, in most cases my stop two ticks above my closest swing high so I'd have a stop two ticks above there two ticks above there on this t25 here I would be two ticks above there but what it means is also my stop is only five ticks in that in that particular situation so a t25 is a momentum trade which means you can have a smaller stop and a larger target because you're in earlier when you're waiting say for your stochastics to roll over um, they're delayed your indicators are lagging pure price action of course is the fastest thing you can be trading you're trading purely price in this particular case we are and actually let me just oh no, I'll leave it on a bit longer the, the channel in this case all I want to really say on my chart to take a good trade is do I have a trending 834 and 89 particularly of course the 200 gives me a good view of what's happening in a higher time frame now the other consideration to make traders is something that I've got up here is trading pivot to pivot now not all pivot platforms are the same or, or, or um, pivots of plot uh, are the same this is uh, one I've got from a third party which I really like I've had it for years so you can see here I've had a bounce off the 89 so if you were more swing trading or having a larger profit target or maybe letting your second lot of contracts trail you may be targeting the lower pivot but what you want to do is just so you don't get a, a pullback that takes you out is to basically after a period of time is to maybe trail your stops down here above these candles okay and finally you're taken out here but remember price will usually target or travel from one pivot to another unless you're in a real trading range if you're in a trading range you'll go up and down all over the place I don't like trading ranges I prefer to be a momentum trader 
so you've got up here you got a little 34 bounce you can enter that because that's really a t25 as well okay and your t89s as we've been discussing where is my closest lowest swing low it's down here here is an obvious target so you can be squeezing more points out and if you keep a track of that you'll find that works really well so another question I've had from some members what about um, uh, trading Forex and we're now looking at the euro dollar this is a five range why do I prefer range or tick uh, over uh, a time-based chart well if we go and have a look um, here at this um, a time based chart right here let's just have a look at this here so this is the three minute and now obviously this is a news announcement um, uh, yesterday last night and look at that there now if you are a news trader you can be stopped and you can have a bracket trade of course and you can be stopped into these and there are many traders that successfully trade the news uh, personally I'm not a news trader I don't like trading red flags that's um, uh, one that is now I'm basically solely a futures trader uh, where I used to trade Forex a great deal just because I'm really focusing on the ES or the NQ and, and by the way as I mentioned earlier it doesn't matter whether you're trading the black gold uh, CL oil NQ ES Forex or stocks all of this is true across the market be very very careful or cautious of a strategy that only works on one market and one time frame usually we've got a case of what we call curve fitting when that happens so you can see the these moves here and the jagged moves are on a time based chart now this is the three minute we're looking at here now for some traders you can read that really well you can read the engulfing um, candles and uh, and other things there and some traders are very hesitant in moving away from a time chart you know what if it works don't change so I'm not saying it's the only way but personally I prefer a smoother chart as I've got here on the range now you can see down here very very clearly we've got our t89s we've got a nice divergence and that's one thing that's great about the Forex market it works really well for our technical traders and you can see here we've got divergence with a lower low um, and by the way one thing I do love traders I love double tops or double bottoms in the direction of the trend they tend to work really well so you've got a nice 89b here you've got another 89b you've got a 34b you've got a 34 89b so it doesn't matter which market you're trading it um, works on all time frames and all markets so I just believe just getting back to the original point I wanted to bring up here over a five minute candle or a 15 I just think I missed out on too much price action with that being said too on news announcements uh, at times it's impossible to enter a trade because you can look back in your back testing and you can look at this here and what you discover is all of this happens within seconds so you wouldn't have been able to get in but one thing that's great I love on Forex is look at your t89s look at your price action once again when you gap away from your 8 EMA gapped away gapping away from your 8 EMA gapped away gapped away um, here you're away here you're away and look at these beautiful pullbacks so get to know your t89s once you're profitable please traders become profitable uh, on trend trading before you start counter trend trading now with that being said again one thing I wanted to say is that if you are going for these see once again how the 8 is moving away from the 34 usually you'll find if you're getting stopped out a lot on counter trend trading you'll find that you're in a steady trend you're getting you're not waiting for these big pullbacks I hope all of that just uh, made sense so just looking at uh, Robin I hope that's uh, answered all your questions and just remember your long-term stochastic and your short-term stochastic are lagging indicators as much as they'll give you as we all know traders brilliant setups with our t2s our t1s our t10s they are lagging your t25 is a pure price action momentum trade so 
questions from Bruce uh, I was wondering uh, this is what uh, Bruce has asked me I was wondering if you have a way to determine using only price bars and the moving averages whether a change in price direction is a small is a small to modest pullback or a much larger reversal uh, yes and the way I do that once again Bruce is with our do we have that bubble formation okay so once again looking at our 4x formation here look at this 8 EMA flying away from the 34 for 34 this is only a short time period but what you should be able to do and this is what I mean by angulation see the angle that I have here it's like a wedge being driven down in between here and even this one this is only a small one but look at this here uh, just here we've got it again we've got this angle of price moving away from the 34 the further the, the more that happens the more likely you are to have a snapback or a large pullback now the great thing about a, a t25 with a t25 a t25 of course is a two to five a is a two to five candle pullback then it resumes back in the direction of the trend you can wait for a one candle pullback in a strong trend so if we looked at just just here as an example notice how you've had a good you've had a five or six candle pullback to here you've gone up and only a one candle pullback what you've got through is momentum so you can trade these as a scalping opportunity so a two to five counter pullback is usually profit taking and remember after a period of time though and here we've got a, a bounce off for 200 and remember and that's let me just bring this up while I think of it remember your 200 traders is, is going to give you very very strong resistance or support along with your pivot points so uh, Bruce hopefully that um, answers uh, your question there is the further you move away from the 89 uh, sorry from the uh, from the 8 for 34 and the 89 and you can see that angle there the more likely you are is to have a decent pullback now with that being said let's have a look at some actual live action as uh, we've been sitting here well this is today it's the Globex session so this is the 233 share bar uh, down here we had a, um, a t20 now traders just be careful in taking t20s if you're four or five bar ticks out of your 34 maybe consider waiting for your first pullback and actually you could have entered here or there but um, uh, I'll take a t20 on either the ES 1000 I'll just jump straight in on them uh, as long as they know more than five ticks out of a 34 uh, or wait for your pullback so you can see here a, a nice winning uh, t20 a nice t21 but look at this up here this is a lovely double top t89 okay you can see here you had your entry here but notice no close under the 8 so even though you've got um, you, you t1 formed giving you an entry signal but you want to always 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 close under the 8 so you've had multiple entries and look at that there for a run so it's another beautiful divergence trade uh, if you're waiting for your divergence which is over here it's just giving you a, a safer entry here you've got a t20 a t20 beautiful entry again then you've got a pullback for your t21 then down we had this double bottom now <laughs> I'm going to show you this here traders and um, this gets back I was doing some live trading with this member that I was doing one-on-one -on -one. because I was doing live trading I adjusted my dome to only trading one contract because traders look there's a lot of smarter traders out there than me but when you're live trading and you're talking in and in some of you have seen me make mistakes when I'm talking away and I miss trades and whatever because when you're explaining and, and I talked to you about being focused so I adjusted my dome today uh, to do this live trading with one contract only and uh, so as I was preparing for this training session I saw a couple of nice setups so I jumped in uh, and only with one contract on whereas most of you know normally I'd be shorting here with uh, a 10 lots so uh, it cost me a little bit of money but anyway uh, so in other words traders check your dome so how many contracts are you meant to be trading but I'm serious about that go through a checklist check your dome uh, here's another thing um, if in, and I, I've fallen guilty of this myself are you going long or are you going short 
when you jump in to a trade in a panic situation sometimes when you should be selling you might buy you do make these mistakes and this is why it's important that you use a simulator and you practice 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 so anyway I shorted there um, picked up uh, five ticks there and I exited this trade here uh, uh, early because um, uh, I was preparing this PowerPoint and I thought well I'm not going to be able to manage this I didn't want the trading day making a racket so I got out uh, early on this one but once again we can see uh, a nice 89 bounce and the reason I had this line here was 89 bounce to take out the low which it did take out that low very nicely we've got a 34b here it's gone up a nice 34b that's good for uh, what's that one two three four four ticks now this is late in our trading session so we're heading towards in one hour this is 8 a.m. London time we're heading towards the uh, London open which can be a very very slow time uh, so you head up here you've got your t25 now here you had of course a t20 now this is what I want to mention uh, after a t20 in a good trend you will nearly always have an 89 bounce which is what's happened here so you had a nice t20 entry there and you had a nice t21 right there which also is a t10 and then you've got a nice 34 bounce and what have we got here we've got some divergence and so if we look at this here let's have a look at this here we've got a a lower low almost a double bottom but we're lower by one tick and you probably heard me talk about this in the video a few days ago a double bottom or a double top to me is okay within one or two ticks uh, really something absolutely perfect but basically to me that's a double bottom uh, you know you're slightly lower lower on your uh, price and then of course what have we got here a higher high on our indicator and we can see our long-term stoke is rising and of course we can see our short term has been rising as well uh, so you'd be up two or three ticks uh, on this trade at the moment but we are heading towards the London open so traders uh, trading with the trend and let's just quickly summarize everything I've just said here trading with the trend um, is uh, less is it is almost just I don't want to say stress-free because that's not true but it's lower stress trading the earlier you enter a trend the more opportunity you have so we've got a T a t20 crossover there bang look at this here another entry there thank you very much to achieve a 200 a day on that little plan that I showed you is only three six tick trades a day or for the scalpers four five tick net trades a day that's all trading the the New York session you can achieve that as you know in one or two hours but if the 1000 volume is too fast for you increase it to 1500 volume to 2000 if the five range on the um, let me just quickly uh, minimize this let's just quickly go back to the Forex if the five range uh, let me hear is too quick for you and as you can see here it's fairly slow like this is over quite a number of hours just drop it down if you want a little more trading action go down to a three range okay but we can see here what's happening on the three minute we can see here price action is dropping right away here now by the way and just there you just had a t20 so let's wrap that up uh, traders if you're not already a member please um, uh, invest in my day traders fast track program uh, very very soon we're launching our live trading rooms we are getting our traders and we've got the new website I'm actually about to uh, see chase up my developer right now he's running four weeks behind on my new website where all of our training materials rather than emailing them out they'll all be um, uh, in the members area and by the way members uh, for all existing members if you want to go down and re download your password once issue will allow you to read down all re download all of the um, training materials materials again in the members area if you haven't got my ebook uh, please go to my go to website and request it uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel please do I hope you've picked up some ideas members I hope I've covered a lot in these sessions look trading is not rocket science it truly isn't 
it's also a lot easier if you focus on one or two setups and as we've seen here on that spreadsheet $200 a day you can become very very wealthy over time make your trading as stress-free as possible focus on just a couple of setups and if you're in an active market that is all you need thank you traders so I'll see you on the next video